Hey loves, it's Gwen. I'm going to do a beautiful reading for the 21st of April. Yeah, April's flying by. Um, 21, when we add that number together, it's a three, okay? And threes are all about a balancing and equilibrium of mind, body, spirit, okay? So we don't want to neglect one or the other, right? We want to take care of our temple, all aspects of our temple, mind, body, spirit, okay? Um, and then connection with the ascended masters, connection with your ancestors, star, family, however you want to see it, source, okay, multiple threes. Um, and so I did a power of three reading today. Threes, you know, I love threes. That's my life path number two is threes. Um, I pulled out some bones to read today. I got three bones. I got three cards for my liminal spirit decks and I got three cards for my Fairy Tarot. <laughs> Let's do it. Multiple threes. Three, three, three. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Different kinds of bones today. Uh, first one. A really beautiful bead. I love this bead. It is a glass bead. Okay. Black at the center. Yellow and red wrapped around it almost like the snake. Almost like the spiral. The cycle of time. The blacks. The universe. The egg, it looks like, right? Like, yeah. Okay, what's what's also cool in how you are an integral part of the universe, right? It speaks to uh, showing your creativity as well because this is a bead that um, I gifted to Ren. It was part of a necklace that I made for him. Um, I think it was the first Christmas when we were talking, I sent him a beautiful necklace that I made and this was one of the center beads on it. Um, over time it fell off. I was able to save the beads. Um, and this is one of my lucky charms, um, in my bone bag. So, you know, talks about giving spirit, the giving spirit through your creativity as well. Right. And that when we create, we learn so much about ourselves. And I talked about that yesterday in the message too. Okay. Um, and that we were fully supported by the universe with the yellow and the red, that solar plexus and that root chakra ground deeply in your truth, in your beliefs and stand proudly and be confident in it. Okay. And then we've got this little adorable bone pipe. Okay. Little peace pipe. I call it little peace pipe. It was a gift to me too. Right. That message is coming through. Like, I gifted this. This was gifted to me. Right? So it's that abundance mindset, too. That flow. Right? And I did a post earlier today on my feed about we really need to change our mindset about selling. Those of us who are creatives, artists, you know, entrepreneurs, um, those in the spiritual um, light worker field that are, you know, who are psychics, who are, who are charging for readings, who are giving you a Reiki, you know, all those kinds of things that, you know, or, or even just life coaches in general, you know, it's an energy exchange. We need to change our mindset. We're not taking from anybody when we sell. We are providing them something we are super passionate about you know, and that is neat. It, you know, that is, and so like, it, we've got to flip the script on that. We've got, you know, it actually makes their life more beautiful that they actually need it, you know, and that we're not taking anything from them. It's just an energy exchange. Okay. I've really had to reprogram my mind. Um, and I'm still working on it, you know, about months, about abundance flow and mindset. And it really does stem from your worth. But then, you know, I find a lot of creatives and artists just don't even know how to put a price tag on their work or they don't feel like they can ask for that much. And simply put anymore, like I, I know you, you, you got to charge for your time. You know, people forget that too, you know, that your time is valuable, right? Right. So anyways, I don't want to go off on a tangent on that because I, I could go, I probably just need to make a separate video for artists and creatives, but because I'm very passionate about that. Change your mindset about selling and uh, make peace in a situation. Like I really feel like this is a little peace pipe. Don't, and see how tiny this is. This is like just this one little tiny one hitter, right? 
<laughs> you can carry it in the pocket. Um, don't fret the small things is what's coming out in this too, right? And that you are becoming a, ma I mean, to, to think about how somebody had to, uh, this is handcrafted, you know, this beautiful piece of bone whittled, carved like this, right? So you're becoming a master of, you're mastering whatever it is, even if you aren't a creative, maybe you're mastering your emotions or mastering the balance or mastering the in-between, mastering patience, okay? Um, and then this, <laughs> I feel like all oh, like, like this hot air balloon wants to bring me up and I'm trying to ground the energy back down <laughs> and my palms itching like a motherfucker. That's a good sign, right? Anyway, okay. And here we go. So here's another piece that I've just recently added to my bone bag. Mm -hmm. It is a broken piece. Whoa! It's sharp. It's a broken piece of agate. Okay. It almost kind of looks like a shark fin. Right? Right? It's got rough around the edges. Okay. Um... I don't think when this piece got broken by my cat, who loves to play with my crystals, I don't think it, it thought it was going to be thrown away or not be presented in this fashion. The broken pieces need to dis be displayed too. The broken pieces need to, ha I mean, this is blue, right? We need to speak about our broken pieces too, so that they can come to the light and not be hidden. Why are we ashamed by the things that are broken within us? This is how we heal, Okay. You know, and in that Japanese art, or whatever, when they put broken pottery back together and where the light shines through, you know, that you could put the pieces back together. You are creating a new thread, right? And nothing is wasted, darlings, right? And that you are protected with the shark. I always feel the shark tooth kind of protection here. Um, so be bold. Spirit's got your back in, in stepping outside of the box and being confident and courageous at this time. It takes some fucking oh to be bold and courageous, like the vulnerability that it requires, um, and that's what that's what um what most people are afraid of being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Because somewhere in our lives we've been shamed. Oh, you know, like the man the man crying or whatever, you know. Um, Everyone, what's going on in the world is the feminine is, is <laughs> the feminine within everybody, okay, is taking back power, right, right? The masculine is supporting the feminine to rise up, right? And every masculine that has been in my life, I respect and I honor because you know what? They were holding space for me in my journey so that I don't care if it was a good or a bad relationship. I don't look at it that way anymore. They fucking held space for me till I could get to this point. Period. I respect it. I respect it. I've learned so much. It's full circle. I didn't expect to get emotional about that one. Oh, okay. Get some coffee. Because <laughs> I've not come to that point before. I held contempt in my heart for what I went through in my relationships for those men and women. And not anymore. <laughs> and it's freeing. Couldn't be who I am today without that, those experiences. And the masculine, I am so proud of the masculine. <laughs> We're not proud enough of the masculine for holding space for us. In all ways, with humor. So many ways. I'm not going to get off tangent. Okay. Whew. Respect the masculine, too. The feminines within the masculine, too. We're all the same. Okay. Cat energy coming out today. <laughs> this is what... 
Usa. Okay. Beautiful. Anytime you release, like it's good, it's good, it's good. I don't expect it to happen to me on camera, but I've let go. I'm releasing. I'm healing. Showing you who I am. Okay? Cat energy out, inspiration, and fox. <laughs> this is badass today, okay? Ugh. Cat energy, okay. Cat energy is about being independent, right? Look at this cat's eyes. Oh my god. I get lost in my own cat's eyes, okay? Cat's about being playful, fiercely independent. Cat sits where it wants to sit. The cat is about the world will adjust to you. You set the vibration, okay? And be more kind and loving to your own heart and add play. Your inner child wants to come out and play, okay? Be more compassionate and tender and playful. And um, the cat's purr, right? It's healing sound coming in. I just cleared the energy with that bell, you know? Like, oh, I'm so grateful every time my cat lays on my chest. I know she. we are connected at the heart and she's healing me. And what she's got an we I'm healing her, you know? The cat, in that cat energy is an, is an inspiration in itself. When we can be whole, true, take off the mask. We are an inspiration for others. We light them up. When we can be authentic and vulnerable, you are an inspiration. Your healing is an inspiration for others, okay? Feel this melting pot with this or the cauldron, you know what I'm saying? There's actually like, I'm seeing there's much going on within the cauldron here. Like, there's like a little scene happening within, within the inside of this cauldron. Many things are being mixed together. Okay, lots of yellow energy and fire coming out of that self-confidence, right? And the fox coming in, and the fox is the clever magician, okay? You can move quick and fast and make intelligent decisions, okay? At a moment's notice, okay? He can also sense when, you know, a predator's around, all right? Um... What else with Fox? Uh, hold on. Fox is like, you ain't done with me. I'm like, I know. Normally, I don't ever have to go to the book with Fox, but it's a specific message. So with this inspiration you're at, you know, invoke the energy of the cat. All right? And just... How about pretend like being a cat one day? I have those days. I'm like, what are we doing today, princess? And she shows me, oh, today we're just going to lounge around and do absolutely nothing. Okay, goddess. Time to turn up your charm a bit. That's what the fox is about. To make things move in your favor. Wit and wisdom applied with a little extra finesse and flash will bring success quickly. Diplomacy, not aggression, is what is needed to handle a tricky situation. Move quickly and with confidence, but also be flexible enough to change tactics at a moment's notice. And heads up, it's just a simple warning. Someone may be trying to trick you. Use your intuition to dispel the glamour, masking the reality, or you might end up, might end up losing your tail. And that's been shown to me, like universe is testing me about energies lately, you know, because for a long time, Oh, I just see the goodness in people, you know, and, um, I wasn't seeing what they were really like. A lot of people have had a lot of ill intention toward me when I had come with a pure heart. And, um, so I've really had to have some wake up calls in 
sensing and feeling energy and setting setting boundaries and not ingesting carrying other people's energy but now i can see it clearly i can see the mask very clearly the emotional mask the mental mask the 3d mask that you portray um and uh, i'm coming to terms with it where I'm not holding judgment for others, but I see it fucking clearly. And I, and it's my choice whether or not I choose to share my light with you. I can continue to tell you the same thing over and over again, and you're not getting it. So I choose to move on now and separate myself because you still choose to wear the mask. I'm not talking about the little, little one. I'm talking about another facade. Okay. I'm going to plant a seed and then I'm going to move on. Hmm. Because I'm clever, because I know now, because I'm connected with my intuitive abilities, right? Okay. I've learned much in reading and sensing energy and people putting on a show, okay? And people portray, like for me and my reality too, like spirits even test me, is this person even who they really are, say they're going to be? especially online when there are so many facades to even for me to even accept a friend request requires a whole level of connecting with my energy and feeling out. I don't accept a lot of them. My light attracts moths too. You know what I'm saying? So the cat, but it's also like, it's like this balancing where like, I want to let it in. I want to let these people in and I can set the boundary, right? I could still love them through their darkness and send them healing, but not interact, not pull it into my field, not become it too. Right? Okay, so the cat was clarified with the three of summer. All right, this summer is the cup suit in this fairy deck. Okay, so the three of cups this is a time of celebration, the cat says. You've been through so much in your spiritual path and your awakening and your healing journey. Give yourself some love today. Be playful. Let your inner child have some fun. When was the last time you let her out to have some fun? Or you, you know what I'm saying? News worth celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduation, births, friends that you cherish. Okay. Three of, three of cups are always about celebration. So celebrate life again. We have been programmed for far too long. That life is hard, that you have to work hard for. She worked hard for her money. Uh, uh, so hard for it, honey. No, she doesn't. It comes easily and effortlessly. And I choose to celebrate and be joy because I don't really want to be sad anymore. You can make the choice to celebrate your life and every experience because it's a valuable tool. It's a lesson. It's just helping you to grow. Celebrate. Okay? I think we're afraid of joy. Oh shit, the rug's gonna be pulled out from underneath us. Na na na! That's an old way of being. You are a motherfucking star. Be the inspiration. You are a motherfucking star. <laughs> sorry, not sorry for my language. When I am passionate, it just flows out of me. And spirit don't love me any less. Source don't love me any less. God don't love me any less for cussing. Look to the future with hope and optimism. The power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. Card 17, which is an 8. eight about harmony, balance, being in the vortex, and the flow. Okay? And then the clarifying the fox today is the 6th of summer. Six of Cups, a lot of emotional healing that is happening within you, okay? Reminiscing, that's this card of nostalgia, the Six of Cups. Looking over the past, realizing, like, that's what I just did in front of you all. Like, realizing the relationships that I've had in the past. Fuck yeah. Okay. There ain't no more bitterness, resent, whatever. Whatever you did to me, you made me. You fucking held space for me because it made me fucking grow. It made me be strong and fucking brave and courageous and vulnerable, vulnerable for you, for me, for us to grow, to heal. Okay. Uh, this, the fox is with this six, <laughs> six of summer. 
children or childhood, the return of people or romances from your past, re remembering events differently in a better or worse light than they have really occurred. Okay, and so I'm a chal I am challenging you. Okay, how are you looking at the past? There is much to celebrate about the past. There is much to celebrate about the past. Okay, you are connected to the stars and to your ancestors, and they are so proud of you for all that you've done. You are an inspiration now. It is time to shine. Look at all this blue energy surrounding you. Be the cat, be the fox. Show you, okay, to the world. We need it. To all the creatives out there, too. It's time for you to shine. Whatever you create, don't be afraid to show it. It's a part of you. The world needs to see it. Fucking love you today, okay? Your master creators. So threes are about two. Oh, my eyebrows. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> this reading resonated today. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. I fucking love you guys. Um, for every share, tag me that you shared it. I'm having a contest at the end of the month where I'm giving a one of my own personal tarot decks away. Um, and I'm very excited about it. You are helping our channel grow. And I love you, brothers and sisters. Mwah.